do it's your girl big key not the loom before we get into this link video make sure y'all like this video or subscribe to the channel turn your notice bell on if you haven't already make sure y'all follow me on all social media platforms link down below description for first comment also make sure i go subscribe to my other channel link down below description for first comment and y'all about that channel um i only posted like one video but i'm thinking about doing changing it and doing like a different type of content on there i'm not sure yet but if y'all have any suggestions or anything let me know down below in the comments or y'all can dm me about what that channel should like be about or something like that or what should i add to the cooking channel or some suggestions you know what i'm saying just throw some ideas out there dm or down below in the comments in this video but as y'all can see this is a update q a slash a girl talk video because i haven't did one oh starting off november here we are because i used to do this every month well i used to do this every month but i just slacked through and that's my fault because y'all know we do the girl talks updated q a's mental check-ins all that good stuff you feel what i'm saying make sure everybody's mental right everybody's in a healthy state because that's what we want okay period so we're gonna get, get straight into this video so i'm gonna do the updated q a first and then i'm gonna go into the girl talk with the questions or advice that i can best give um somebody said would you own a makeup shop if so what would you name it um i'm not sure i won't See, me personally, I don't really do the makeup like that. So, but I do want to get into makeup, but not really like too much makeup. Like just a soft little beat, which I took a class on that on my channel. And I don't really be stunned makeup like that for real because I like the way I look naturally. So, yeah, nothing against the girls that do wear makeup because, yeah. Advice on getting a place with your significant other. Make sure y'all prepare for that shit. Like, make sure you got enough saved up for like, uh, of course you got rent, light bill. When it comes to apartment, board is usually included within your rent. So that, um, what else? Go ahead and start buying stuff early for the apartment. You can buy like furniture, TVs, um, like so cleaning supplies, all this stuff, buy it early. I would say that most definitely. Buy all this stuff early so when you get in your apartment and everything, you won't have to worry about it. That goes for tissue, paper towels, um, washing powder, Clorox, everything. Like make sure you buy all that good stuff early, okay? So when you get in there, you ain't gotta worry about doing all that. Make sure you pay your rent on time, bills on time, of course. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Put us on some natural hairstyles. Um, I barely wear my real hair as it is. Um, the most styles I would do with my real hair is probably like, I can insert a picture of the styles I got or the styles I have put my hair in since I done worn it out and then grown out so much. And I also put a picture in there from when I first started growing my hair into what it is now. But my favorite style when it comes to the natural hair style would have to be the slip back. I love the slip back, but it just time consuming as hell. Like you have to take it piece by piece, part it and jelly and then put it down. Like it's just time consuming, but that's my favorite one. What kind of products do you use for your skin on your face? I use CeraVe. That's the only product I use, but I have been sent this product called Kills, <laughs> and I've been using that, but I just started using it, so I'm not sure what it really does. But CeraVe definitely my product, definitely. When is your birthday? My birthday is January the ninth. Okay, period. Big cap, big Capricorn sheet. Yeah. Did it hurt when you got your nose pierced? No, a nose piercing is literally like a small pinch. I swear to God, like. When it comes to like piercings and tattoos, I feel like a lot of people ask me, do they hurt or whatever? And I'm gonna say no, because my pain tolerance is high, but some stuff do hurt, but some stuff don't. Like another person is easy. Like that thing literally like a pinch. And you're gonna drop a little tear, of course, because of what they doing to your face. Like, and that's it for real. Like, it's literally a pinch. I was like, when you was growing up, when I was growing up, we stayed with my auntie for a good minute. You know what I'm saying? She stayed in, I ain't even gonna say the apartment, but it was in Columbus. And, um, yeah, and then until then, we, we moved in a trailer, but it was good though. Honestly, it was just, first it was just me and my brother, of course. Um, mom was straight. So growing up was very like, she was straight, but she was like, you know, I'm glad she raised me like that. One thing about it, because baby, I need kids today. I'm telling you, I'm glad she raised me how she raised me and that's just that like that's just how i feel like life was good though you feel what I'm saying we had our struggle of course but you know i made something 
made nothing out of something. You feel what I'm saying? Always put us first. It was good. I mean, it went like, you know, a spoon, like, you know, luxury shit, but she made a way for us. You feel what I'm saying? And period. That's my girl. So on to the next. That was it for the Q and A. So now we doing the girl talk. Okay, period. I forgot what I had put on a picture, but I had screen recorded this. This was in October, October the fifth, September the eighth. Crazy because I was supposed to be had these videos and I never did get to them because I just been busy, y'all. Okay, let's get to it. The topic: How do you deal with the pressure as a teenager in high school? Uh, I would definitely say when you're in high school, it can be very overwhelming because of the homework you got to do. Um, some people try to fit in a lot when it comes down to it. Some people trying to get in a relationship. Some people going through shit, uh, whether it's a family um, death or friends death, because that happens a lot around this time. Like at y'all age, in high school, like a lot of younger people are dying like and passing away which is very sad i would say just pray honestly your best thing is i would say pray get closer to god if you don't believe in god i don't know what to tell you honestly because that's how i go about things you feel what i'm saying praying talking to god talking to god gonna be better than talking to anybody anybody i don't care who it is anybody out here talk to god don't talk to nobody else how is your mental health i'm good but you know I have my days, but I have to just keep grinding. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta keep grinding. Still grieving and grinding, you know. When you feel stressed, what helps you calm down? I, just, I ain't even finna sit here and cap to you. If I'm stressed about something, I'm either finna pray, I be crying sometimes, or if I feel like I'm just overwhelmed, I'm just gonna go to sleep and take a break from everything. Take a take a good step back from everything. Think about some other shit that can help me not be in that stressful situation basically it's what i do i ain't gonna lie to you friends who don't want to help you achieve your goals but get mad when i'm with others first of all don't depend on nobody to help you achieve your goals or get to your goals if they're not supporting you they're not showing no love to you fuck them and that's just how i feel about it like you gotta be able to put that work in yourself because when the time comes the motherfuckers not gonna be around, but when the time start getting right, the motherfuckers gonna try to come back around. Don't let the motherfuckers come back around. But if you do hate this on you, you you got forgiveness. Of course you forgave them, but if you feel like you still be friends with them, whatever case may be, then you do that. But sometimes you gotta let some people go to be able to grow and achieve your goals. Like if you with, they get mad because you with other people that's on that business timing. Then hey, they not in the right spot because they supposed to be trying to get the business with you. So if they want to sit over here mad because you want to get to work and you want to work actually work with people that's actually doing something, then you do that. Them the people for you are better for you go over there than rather go over here with these folk that are mad because you trying to achieve your goals. You feel what I'm saying? Let them folk go and go over here to the people who want to talk business. We ain't with none of that. We ain't doing none of that. What are your goals for 2024? My goals for 2024? Mm -hmm. I have. I actually haven't written down my goals yet for 2024. I usually do a vision board. This is my vision board for 2023. Most of it is complete. You feel what I'm saying? Period. I will be doing another vision board. Vision board come December on my phone. I think I did this through Pixar. I'm not sure. I don't even remember how I did this, but I'm going to figure it out how I did it. Goals I have achieved for 2023. I think somebody said, okay, somebody asked three goals I've, complete, I've accomplished so far, so I will get to that. It goes in with that question. The goals I have completed so far, getting closer to God, for one. For two, staying consistent. Three, I'm going to name more than three. I got my uh credit score up. Because let me tell y'all, my credit score was in the red. My credit score was in the red, my love. Thank God. God, my credit score went up. Like, and it's on my vision board. Like, and my vision board is like an 811, which I wasn't really aiming for 811. I was really aiming for like a 700, but 800 wouldn't be that bad. But I'm at seven something now. So that's perfectly fine. I really, I, I think I started off. Matter of fact, let me go to it. When I first started off, I was at 569. I'm at a seven something right now. I'm not gonna say the exact score, but I'm at a seven something right now. My shit was at 569. Do you hear me? 569. And that was in, that was November 2020. It's a whole new year. You feel me? And I'm at seven something. Like, I'm so proud of myself. 
very much proud of myself. So I accomplished getting my credit score up, getting closer to God, staying consistent. So yeah, and I've been trying to save my money up, you know, that too, saving some money up, period. Getting in the gym, being consistent in the gym, most definitely. The goals I accomplished so far for 2023 would be getting closer to God, Get my credit score up. Stay consistent in the gym. Stay consistent with YouTube. Stay consistent, period. Now I have a website up of my business and what I want to do. You feel what I'm saying? Which I will have more stuff dropping on my website. If you don't know, my website will be linked down below in the description. Make sure y'all go get y'all an ebook if they're still available, which I will make some available if they do sell out. So yeah, make sure you go get that, okay? Period. Because yeah. Uh, so yeah, just growing period goes. I've accomplished so far for 2023, which is 2023 is going to be over and we got new goals to accomplish. So yeah, what keeps you motivated? What keeps me to stay motivated is like changing my living um, space, being financially stable because I got stuff I want to do. You feel me? I got so much shit I want to do and so much shit I want to accomplish. So that being in my head, I have to put that shit out. So that keeps me motivated because I know I don't want to keep on doing the same shit. I want to be able to change some shit up when it comes to like my mama, my sister, my brothers and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? So for me first and then them, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what keeps me motivated to keep going and keep trying to accomplish my goals I need to try to accomplish. Well, that I am going to accomplish. Let me say that. Is waxing better than shaving? If so, I want to try. I feel like waxing is better than shaving because when it comes to waxing, you ain't, you ain't, it depends on how your hair grow back, honestly. When it comes down to it, I think mine didn't grow back for like a whole month when I got mine's waxed. Like four weeks, it didn't grow back to four weeks. Like it started growing back within four weeks. And when it comes to shaving, you know, when you shave, your hair damn near be back on there the next damn day. But some people, it depends on how your hair grow or whatever it may be. So I would say, because when it comes to shave, you got to shave with every, every week, every two weeks, every other day, every other two, three days. I don't know how everybody shave. I don't know. So I'm just putting it out there. I don't know. I don't even know how I shave. I don't even be keeping up with it. Shit, if it gets started getting, you know, a little, a lot of, then I start. But I don't just constantly keep on shaving because it's going to cause, like, razor bumps and all that shit. And you don't want to have it. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with no razor bumps. I mean, it's razor bumps. Shaving, so. But, um, yeah, I think waxing would be definitely better than shaving because uh, your, your kunk kunk going to stay bald for a good minute, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Y'all keep saying talk about friendships, but y'all have to give me some questions when it comes down to the friendship shit. Like, what y'all want me to talk about when it comes down to it? But that's pretty much it for this video. I just had to go ahead and get the video out because this video been dreaded six September and October. So, I had to go and get this video out here. Which I will, I'm going to still try to be consistent. I am going to be consistent when it comes to like these type of videos, sit down videos, because of course we all need to sit down, have a mental talk and a mental chicken and everything, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell on if you haven't already. Also, make sure you go check out my website, link in the below description when I first come in, go purchase you an ebook, okay, period, and a content planner. Because I feel like a lot of people need content planners to stay organized. I personally use a content planner to stay organized. I use notebooks to stay organized when it comes to my content, when it comes to stuff I have to do, when it comes to bills, um, what else, when it comes to stuff that I'm manifesting and that I need to actually work on as in like my actual work and what I want to accomplish um so yeah that's why most people use content planners so I think everybody should have them content planners so I think y'all should go buy the content planners because they really cheap so you need to go get your one off my website okay period be linked on the description make sure I go get y'all one make sure I go get the ebook I hope I can I ain't even gonna get to that but yeah make sure y'all get y'all the ebook and everything and because I worked really really hard on this shit I've been working on this for like three four months now and it's finally out there so yeah and that's pretty much it for this video y'all already know this y'all know what they do it's your big key not the little one <laughs>